Happy game day. Happy Sunday. Ooh. Today's a really exciting day. It's color rush day. We're all we're wearing red on red. We are Chiefs fans, by the way. And today's video is gonna be all about the things that we do For as Kansas City Chiefs fans that live in Florida. How we stream, what we eat, things that we do, our game day activities. Today's a really exciting game because we are facing off against the Buffalo Bills in Sunday Night Football. This is the AFC rematch. AFC Championship rematch from last season. I'm really excited about the game. I hope it's a good game. Yeah. All I want is a good game. I just want to watch a really good football game. I say that, and of course I want to win, but I really hate- It was a good game last night. I really hate, oh yeah, the Texas A&M Alabama game. That was a good game. I'm not usually one to watch Alabama football games just because I can't stand them. <laughs> But I do kind of like Texas A&M. She's a big Texas A&M fan, and I don't understand why you are, but I think it's cool. You can like more than one team. Yeah, I just don't get why you like them. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Texas A&M won last night, and it was really kind of a cool game. We yeah, watched, what, through the really, third quarter? Really, really impressive plays. Yeah, it was really a cool game. So today, Mother's working on her shoes because we don't have yellow shoes. Now we are Chiefs fans, we've got lots and lots of like red stuff. We don't have much yellow. I have one dapper yellow spirit jersey that's like a Disney World spirit jersey, but Travis Kelsey wears yellow shoes that are almost like this color. What they look like is they look like penalty flags on the field and I know it bothers some people. I think they look really cool. And I, since he has started wearing those, I have wanted a pair of yellow shoes. So we're gonna dye some shoes today. Mom is taping hers. I've already taped mine. Let me show you my taped shoes. So we're gonna dye these. Um, I wanna dye them yellow. We've got some Rit dye. We're gonna dye our shoes yellow. We're gonna order pizza later. We've got toasted ravioli in the freezer that we got from Aldi this morning. The dogs are gonna wear their teeth stuff. Yeah, we've got shirts for the dogs that Thank they're gonna get Adam dressed Leg. up in. Thank you, Adam Leg. So, this is just gonna be our like game day uh, rituals almost, but these aren't things that we do every weekend. Obviously, we don't dye our shoes every weekend. But these are just some cool things that we do on game day. I'm not in focus. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited, and I hope you guys enjoy this. If you're a Chiefs fan, woohoo, woo go Chiefs. If you are a professional or college football fan, we can be friends, you know? You don't have to like the same team teams I do, as long as you don't like the Raiders, then that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're about ready to start dyeing our shoes. We are using the Rit Lemon Yellow, like dry, Die. <laughs> Die! <laughs> um, we've got some water here. I didn't measure this, I just put it in there and got it to boiling. It's boiled and then cooled down and now it's heated up again. But the exact amount is this is some. Yeah, some. This is a good amount. Ask the Pioneer Woman, this is a good amount of water. Mm -hmm. Over here in this cup we have a cup of vinegar with a tablespoon of Dawn dish soap because the packaging in here, the instructions are inside the box, and it tells you to add one package of powder or half a bottle of the liquid dye. We're using the powder dye, so we use one packet, two cups of very hot water, which is 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and I, I um, just took the temperature, and it is over 140. Add dye solution to dye bath, following directions for specific dyeing technique. There are four different techniques here, but we're gonna use one that's not on here. We're going to dab it on with like a brush or a sponge. And then it says, add one cup of salt for cotton, one cup of vinegar for nylon, silk, and wool. Add one tablespoon liquid detergent to all dye baths. Now, I've never dyed anything, but you, ha you have used RIT dye before. I've used RIT dye. I've never dyed. No. But I have used RIT dye. Okay, and you used Detergent, the dish soap, yeah. and vinegar. My mom would have this stuff cooking on the stove and she would dye things regularly. Cool, so we're gonna add this and then that to yeah. this and stir it around. Gently. And, yeah, gently. We don't wanna splash it all over everything. <laughs> I just opened the package and it looks like sand in here which is really kinda interesting. What's that for? Put our shoes on. All right, I'm gonna dump the whole thing in here. Ooh. 
Stir it around? Yep, stir, stir. And we can probably turn the heat off too. Cool. Oh, it smells yummy. Oh my gosh, it's not dye. Really. It doesn't have a scent. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want to add the vinegar and dish soap now? Yeah. Or is it too early? I've never it's done this before, so I don't know what I'm doing. It's still a little gritty. Okay, you want to wait till it's fully dissolved mm -hmm. then? Okay. Now this is a bar technique where you pour it on the spoon and let the spoon. Well, that's supposed to be a layering thing, but I think you're using it as more of a keep from splashing, splashing kind of technique and it's working the color is kind of scary because it's supposed to be lemon yellow and it looks more like mud brown but I think it'll probably be fine yeah that looks right and I think we can do more than one layer if we need to oh yeah I would rather be not dark enough than too dark than too dark I agree starting with mom's shoes and you can see she's taped her shoes to cover up the pieces she doesn't want to turn yellow because a moment of truth it's not showing up on camera it's turning it yellow since we have this sponge we can kind of precision dye mm -hmm. instead of just dunking the whole thing in a bath mm -hmm. like dipping the whole shoe in there we could do that but then the whole shoe would be dyed yellow and i don't know if that's what i want to do yeah the nice thing about this is if we are not happy it's light enough we can dye it again we, or we can lift the color off because mm -hmm. the writ writ does have like a dye lifter all right, well, I will show you guys when we get to a point that's more after instead of during. Okay, it's now like 4.15, and we are watching the end of the Eagles and Panthers game, and I kind of like the outcome. It's really exciting. But we've just finished dyeing our shoes. We did a couple of coats. We switched from like a sponge brush to an actual paintbrush. But check these out. They are so pretty, and I love them so much. I cannot wait for them to be dry. I think mom's going to add some red to hers. I'm not. I'm just going to add some red hickeys to mine, but I think they look so cool. Okay, so let me show you from the front, I guess. We've got the tongues sticking up, but these are mom's. And hers are like a different texture. It's like a weird kind of almost like a tent mesh. Um, and mine are like the nylon regular mesh. These are the Nike Tangents. They look so cool. They're perfect. They're exactly what I wanted, and I love them. I love them, they're so cool. So, cannot wait for these to dry. So excited to see them when they're done. Living for the drama that is the end of this Packers Bengals game. The Packers just kicked a last minute field goal to win, but oh my goodness. How about those Bengals? Right, Mom? I'm so I proud of them. Fly, Eagles, fly! <laughs> I'm so happy they won today. But, like, what a cool game. I wish I could have seen more of it, but it was blacked out on the NFL Sunday ticket, so we got to see the last couple of minutes of it. Lame. Next game up on our DirecTV NFL Sunday ticket streamathon is the Browns at the Chargers. And of course, I'm rooting for the Browns today because I really like them this year. I, uh, Baker Mayfield is growing on me. He doesn't bother me as much as he used to, and kind of hate the Chargers because I have to because they're in my division, but what do you think? Oh, I, I was just going to say, I didn't realize we're talking to everybody. I was just going to say, I am a big Browns fan. I was not a Mayfield fan when he was in college, but I think as a player and as a leader, he has developed. For sure. And I'm really pleased with him. So, yeah, he's somebody I can root for. And I think he's developing into a good quarterback. So, I'm excited to see what they do with him in the rest of the season. Um, so, we've ordered our pizza online or on the phone, and it's supposed to be delivered in the next hour or so. But until then, I'm going to put some toasted ravioli that we got from Aldi, the Mama Cozy's ravioli in the toaster oven. And I'm going to drink my Kansas City Super Bowl 54 Champions Bud Light beer. Thank you, Ben. 
thank you, Ben. He got us one of these and we've just been nursing it since he gave it to us, now drinking Lisa it slowly. In Lisa found them? Yeah. Cool. And he got them to us and we have been using them sparingly. And saving the bottles yep. when they're empty. <laughs> because they're so cool. Limited edition. Love it. So these are gonna go in and you guys are gonna get to see our pizza in just a few minutes. Our pizza's here. Wow. We've got a small, this is a 12 inch um, pizza Bianca. Mm -hmm. This is a 12 inch cheese pizza because somebody likes to eat just like cheese pizza. And I- I'm boring. You are. And this is so beautiful. This is a Sicilian pizza and it is a 17 by 17 inch pizza. This is huge. These pizzas from this place are gigantic. And I love how they put the little cups in here to keep the lid from sagging because they did stack these two on top of this for delivery and it didn't mash our pizza. This is the meat lovers, by the way. Yum, yum, yum. Yum. Let's eat. Hi, oh. I got my red and black on. Whoop, here goes my black. <laughs> She's a kicker. But not like Harrison Becker. Our, <laughs> our game is about to start. It is 8.21. We're about to do kickoff. Carrie Underwood has already sang her Sunday Night Football song. And I wanted to talk a little bit about Crucial Catch. I'm going to get out my soapbox and I'm going to stand on it for a second. And she's going to hold the ladder, I guess. You're going to help me with this, Mom. Okay. Um, I've done a lot of research for my MBA program. Learning about healthcare and all the things that we've suffered in the healthcare industry because of COVID. And I know everybody's sick and tired of talking about COVID, but we need to talk about this for a second. Crucial Catch is all about encouraging people to go to the doctor so they can get screened for cancer so that if you have cancer, you're diagnosed early so that you can be treated for cancer earlier rather than later. And because of COVID, a lot of people didn't go to the doctor so they weren't screened for cancer, so now we're seeing a lot more diagnoses for later stage cancers in a lot of patients because they didn't go to the doctor during COVID, which is understandable. Now, Some offices were closed entirely. Some were just doing remote work, but a lot of cancer screening, whether it was for colon cancer or breast cancer, but a lot of cancer screening was, was slowed way down, if not completely halted. Yeah. So this is just, you know, a short-ish clip to try to encourage you to go to the doctor, get screened for cancer if it's appropriate for you. Get no your routine health maintenance done. Yeah, go see your primary care physician or provider or whatever, and if it's appropriate, do the things that are appropriate for your age group, know your family history, don't be afraid to go to the doctor and talk about problems, health concerns because it's important for your health, it's important for the doctor, it's important for all of us. Get your health maintenance done. Yeah, do that, it's important. So we're about to kick off, yay! But these two aren't dressed yet, well, not that one. This one is not dressed yet. She had a bath earlier today. I think it's time for them to put on their jerseys, right Smokey? She's got her toys all around her. Let's get dressed. Yay! We've already got our first penalty. <laughs> But look at our cheese fans. Yay, Yay. Yogi! Woohoo! Woo. We have to say a special thank you to Adam Legg for getting us these really cool dog jerseys. We love them. They love them. We're so happy. Yogi, honey, do you Yogi want your treat? Yogi loves hers. <laughs> well, it's 10 o'clock, just after 10, and it's just now halftime, and we are losing. This game is really stressing me out. I don't like the way that it's going. I think I need a mug brownie. Do you want a mug brownie? <laughs> you think that'll help? I think it'll make me feel better. <laughs> I don't need one, but I think I want one. We're trying to be good on our diet, but like we're also trying to live our lives to the fullest and be happy, and so I think... Yeah, there's a happy medium. I think you've got to be... Yes, that's true. There's a place between like restricting everything. Also I have really yellow fingers from my shoes. Um, oh, I do want to show you those because my, I did a rinse on mine and set them to dry. Mom used a Sharpie on hers. Where are your shoes? Oh, they're on the floor. 
So let me show you our shoes because I think they look really cool. And then I'm gonna make a mug brownie. Mom didn't rinse hers, so her yellow is a little bit darker than on mine, and she sharpied the red on the tongue and on the back, so. That's what her shoes look like. And so she bought these Crocs. If you saw our shopping vlog where we went shoe shopping, we went to Shoe Carnival and she got these Crocs that were like pink and blue. And green and, and yellow. Yeah, they were tie-dye, but they weren't these colors. And she sharpied over the colors on the Crocs to make them red, yellow, white, black Crocs. So that she's got Chief's Crocs. Now she's got Chief's sneakers. And I just think that the soles on these shoes look really cool. She didn't do this, they came like this, but I think they look really cool. And they look even cooler now that they've got the yellow on them. Now she just needs some hickeys for, for her laces. I don't know if we have any black ones. We might have to order some hickeys, I can't believe that. So anyway, let's go look at my shoes. All right, these are mine. I did uh, rinse them in some cold water which took some of the like dark color out, but the yellow that's left I think is beautiful. And then I stuffed some paper towels in there to kind of help them dry because now they are very, very wet. And I do have very, very yellow fingers, but I really think they look cool. And I think when I add some red hickeys to these, I think they'll look really, really cool. And I keep talking about hickeys. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these um, tieless shoelaces. They're like rubber bands that replace your shoelaces so you never have to tie your shoes. They turn all of your shoes into like slip-ons, which I really like. So these are the same shoe that I just dyed, just, you know, older and very, very much worn. But I have some of these red ones. Um, well, I have a set of red ones upstairs that I'm going to put on the ones that I dyed yellow so they can be red and yellow and I think it'll look really cool. But this is what I keep talking about when I say hickeys. I mean these. And I'll link to them in the description box if you're interested. I really enjoy them. So I have a like minute mug blondie recipe that I used. But um, I split it in half. So I just made like the recipe one time, split it between two bowls. And I'm going to put some caramel syrup on mine. There are white chocolate chips in here, but I think... It needs a little bit of this and maybe some whipped cream just because it's that kind of night. Also, now we're in a game delay because of weather Terrible in Kansas storm. City. Terrible storm. Huge storm. I don't know if I'm going to make it. So caramel syrup is my, this is my crutch. This is my solution. <laughs> it's nearly 11 o'clock and I'm upstairs in my bedroom folding laundry, still streaming the game cast, but nobody's playing right now because of the storm they're saying maybe they'll start at 11 it's 10 till 11 they're saying that's best case scenario but every time they show the stadium it looks like it's an utter downpour these are the glamorous shots of being a kansas city chiefs fan living on the east coast it really sucks having an 8 p.m game on sunday night Especially when tomorrow is Monday and work has to happen and things have to happen early in the morning and then there's a game delay <sighs> But I need to like I need to change the sheets on my bed. That's something that I've been wanting to do. I need to fold this basket of laundry She's so cute So there are things yes, I know so there are things that I can do um until I absolutely have to go to bed. I would like to watch the end of the game. <sighs> I would like to win this game. I would like this game to go our way. I don't know if it's going to go our way or not. And that's just, you know, the way it goes sometimes. I'm really impressed with the Bills this year. I wish we looked better. Anyway, so um, I just wanted to give you an update. Mom went to bed. Um, just now, Emma went to bed a couple of hours ago. <sighs> it's late. We're, we're all tired. But this is the hardest part of being a Chiefs fan. Is the late, late, late games. I don't do this very well. I don't like staying up till midnight. And we still have an entire half of the game to go. 
Anyway, I'm gonna finish folding my laundry and listen to the game cast because they're doing like highlights and um, Drew Brees is on this like game cast and I really like listening to him. I just like the guy. He makes me happy. So I'm gonna le let them talk and keep me company while I fold my laundry and hopefully the game will resume soon. We'll see. Well, we lost. I'm not fit for company right now. <laughs> I've been messaging Adam and a couple of other people that are really kind and they're saying nice things and I just think that we need a, like a do-over of the entire season. I think everybody needs a do-over. Everybody, including the Chiefs, I just think that when the Raiders get off to a good start, we just need to stop, go back to the beginning, and try again. I just think that we need a new start. I put fresh sheets on my bed. My pillows are still down here. My laundry is folded, yay, and this one is begging for attention. So anyway, I think that's gonna be it for our game day, our Sunday, you know, watching the Chiefs game, prepping for the Chiefs game, all the things that we do as Chiefs fans, including be disappointed when we lose a game. Did you just throw that at me? She's throwing things at me. Anyway, we're gonna go to bed because it's really late. It's way after midnight. It is almost 1.45, no, almost one o'clock. It's 12.45 a.m. It's bedtime, way past bedtime. And she's got the zoomies because she doesn't have to go to sleep yet. So she's being wild. Anyway, we're gonna go to bed. So you guys will see me in another vlog. Hopefully I'll feel happier in another vlog really, really soon.